Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. I have another unboxing to do here. Now this one here has staples in it. It is not taped. At least, yeah. Not that I could see. So this one's going to be a little bit easier to open, I hope. Always gotta be one of you that's gonna be a little stubborn. Alright. So let's see what's going on in here because I see a box in a box. This I think I know what it is, but I am not very sure. We got a lot of drawing paper here. So we got a box that in a box that is well taped. So let's get opening this after I pick up this shit that's all over the place. All right, so I'm on the bench right now, and let's get opening. Safety first. Always close the knife. All right, let's see what we got here. Or drawing paper. Oh, cool. All right, let's see here. I've got a Steinberg base. Serial number. missing something here. I never have had a Steinberg base before. And uh, this does not look like it is a four string base. Pretty stripped out. Just a body. Uh, not really too much going on with the fretboard as far as damage goes. Frets look like they're in pretty good shape. So how do you adjust the truss rod on this? Oh, it's at the top of the neck. So I'm missing pieces here. Zero fret, which is a lot bigger than the rest of the frets. The paint job is in good shape as far as, you know, not being scratched up or anything. I don't know why this was stripped. Got a little bit of a smudge here that came off. All right, so I'm back on the bench over here. I get a better look at things. So I do see a little bit of wear on the edge of the fretboard over here. It might have been kind of sharp and somebody took a file or something and went across it. Fretboard seems to be in pretty decent shape. There's a few little nicks marks in it, which if I take to find out what radius is, take the radius block, go over this, I could fix that with no problem. Like I said, the paint job on this is in very, very good shape. I really don't have to do much to it, but you know I am, right? I do have to find the parts for it, so let me check the truss right on this to make sure it works. So I got my base notched straight edge here, and let's see which one it is. Okay, here it is. All right, so we got a really good back bow in there right now. Let's see if this is a four mil, and it is. So if I turn this puppy, oh yeah, I can see the headstock moving, or the neck moving really good. And I got rid of that back bow. So let's see if I have any thing going on with it. Nope, it is completely flat now. So the truss rod does work. So basically what I have here is a Steinberg, the bones. 
and what I'm going to do is pluck these frets out and re-radius this fretboard over here get rid of any little imperfections and marks and stuff that are in the fretboard uh, find the hardware and the electronics to put in here and put this puppy back together maybe give it a custom paint job well there's no maybe in that right <laughs> It's small enough, uh, it's not going to take much paint. Wow, this paint that's already on here is super thick. Holy shit. I'm surprised it hasn't cracked or anything. I have to get with my friend Jeff Lee at Diamond Cut Graphics, have him make me a, a new Spirit Steinberg logo. Uh, I do have to figure out, this is the first Steinberg I've ever had, first base like this I've ever had. So what I have to do is figure out which one it is, what electronics went in here, what went here, you know, there's some holes over here which are probably, uh, well, I could see what they are now, there's a circle there and there's a small circle there that's discolored, discolored a little bit underneath it, so it is probably just some type of a strap lock, uh, changes thing from you know, being a left-handed to a right-handed or so. And yeah, I've got the frets to do this. I just gotta get the rest of the stuff, which is, uh, see how easy that's gonna be to find. All right, guys, take it easy, have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later. I have a neck that I'm working on right now, and that is getting done, hopefully by uh, this weekend. I can get it shipped out. And you'll be seeing more of that when I start doing the fret work and stuff on it. Um, plus, I have, like, I don't know how many other projects that are going on as well that uh, I have to start uh, working on. So, like, again, like I've been doing, I'll work on one guitar while that one is kind of, uh, you know, either drying or whatever. I could start working on another guitar and get that one going at the same time as I'm working on another. So... Luckily, I don't get confused as far as parts go, you know, putting the wrong parts on the wrong body. But uh, otherwise, you know, it kind of moves things on a little bit faster to get things done. So now that I'm back and I'm ready to go, um, yeah, I can start working on guitars over here, building up like crazy. All right, you guys, take it easy. Have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.